It's fascinating how easy it is to overcomplicate our lives. It's as if we have more, we feel better, or we look more successful, right? But an overextended life with too many tolerations and responsibilities is actually exhaustive, energy draining, and not much good comes from it, unless you want high cholesterol, diabetes, or <laughs> some type of illness. Today, we're gonna to dive into critical steps on how can you simplify your life? So how can you achieve your goals without overcomplicating your life? So if you want to discover what I have learned over the last 30 years, you're gonna to love today's episode. It's a game changer. So hi and welcome. I'm Annette Bao. For over 30 years, I've been advising and researching the top one and 2% of millionaires to learn what millionaires with amazing lives do differently. And now I provide you practical, easy to implement insight so you can take your business, your life, and your money to the next level. And I wanna welcome you to Simplify Your Life. Please remember to click subscribe and ring the bell. Today's episode is brought to you by our very own Worth Barometer Guide. You can go to millionaireseries.com forward slash WBG. This guide literally has taken me years to figure out and hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of research. And you can have it for free. Just go to millionaireseries.com forward slash WBG. But at the core level of any success, whether it's creating a simple life you love or creating financial freedom, it all begins with your worth barometer. So I encourage you to go download this, millionaireseries.com forward slash WBG. All materials and intellectual property are copywritten by the millionaireseries.com. The information we provide is not intended to replace any advisor or specialist or to provide you investment, financial tax, retirement, or any planning or healthcare advice. All participants agree to hold millionaireseries.com and its affiliates harmless for results achieved or not achieved, and all international copyrights are reserved. For today's show notes, go to millionaireseries.com forward slash 177. For all show notes, go to millionaireseries.com forward slash WLI. Let's dive into simplifying your life. The first thing I want you to get is that simple does not necessarily mean easy, and especially until we rewire our limbic brain. So it takes between 18 and 254 days to change a habit, on average 66 days. Those first two or three months are gonna be tough. It's kinda like when you learn to ride a bike. Remember how hard it was and you fell over and you're like, oh my God, I'm never gonna do this. And then all of a sudden you learn how to ride and you're like, oh, this is so easy, or swimming or driving a sh stick shift car. I can remember being on the freeway with my dad screaming at me, should not have been teaching me how to drive, and I couldn't get it in gear, and it's, we're rolling back down off the ramp on the freeway. It was terrifying. I'm like, I'll never learn this. I did. But what we gotta remember is that those first few steps are the hardest and it gets easier. You know, I always say the first 100,000 of income is the most difficult, the first million in net worth is the most difficult. It gets easier after that. So the first step is to declutter and we're gonna start with your home. Less is more. You know, I always fascinated when you walk into somebody's house and there's just stuff everywhere. It just reflects what's going on inside of them. And so it's not to make a judgment call, but if you really want to attract more in your life, get rid of stuff. It's amazing how that works, but you got to start by decluttering. So there are three piles that I recommend you have when you go to declutter your home. One is giveaways. Now I personally like to give away. You can also sell. So you can decide if you want to do a consignment, you want to give away. And then, so one is giveaway, two is sell, three is throw away. Now, you wanna go through everything and say, if I haven't worn this in the last six months and get rid of it. Now, the only exception is if you own a few different homes and sometimes it's summer clothes or winter clothes, that might be an exception, but you wanna go through your closet, your cabinets, your drawers, everything. The more you can get rid of, the better. Now, every year I get rid of stuff and I'm working really hard not to replace it because it's easy. You get rid of clothes, you get rid of stuff and you're like, oh, I need to get more. Do I really need that? Now, if you haven't watched the three-day rule, go watch the three-day rule, and I'll link to it in the show notes. But the three-day rule is all about making sure that what you're buying you really need, whether it's online or whether it's in the store, and giving yourself some time to really make sure not only you can afford it, but you really need it. Do we really need another pair of shoes? Do we really need another outfit? Probably not. So it's important to understand that. And then declutter your office. Oh my gosh. So here there are three piles. One is things you're gonna scan, so you can go paperless. Two, you're going to either sell or donate. And three, you're gonna throw away or shred. 
It is so freeing to get rid of junk. In fact, there are stories about psychiatrists. They'll have patients that are having a breakdown and they can't talk to them because they're in a session with another client. And they'll say, just have them go clean their drawer out. Just by doing that task, it gets them out of that limbic state. And it's amazing. Obviously, if you need professional help, get it. But it's interesting how powerful that is. Go through everything. And again, if you have not used it or you don't know if you're gonna, just get rid of it. You know, I know some of us were raised with parents that went through the Great Depression. My father did, and God bless his soul. But it's like we had to keep everything. You know, that, that whole generation did. And even though my mom was significantly younger than him, she still was raised with parents who had gone through the Depression. So, you know, just be aware of that. You've got to remove mental blocks. All I want you to start with is one thing because it can be overwhelming. But if you're not achieving your results, a lot of times, a large portion of it's your worth barometer, but also it's mental blocks. All I want you to do is to start identifying areas and where you have beliefs that aren't serving you. Like you see somebody driving a really nice car and you're like, oh, I bet they're dishonest or oh, all rich people are stingy or all rich people are cheap. I don't care what it is, write it down. And I want you to start looking at those. And then what I want you to do is I want you to identify which are the most common ones that you find yourself saying money's dirty or all rich people get their money illegally. I mean, there's so many crazy ones that I've heard and people share that a lot of us have had. I mean, we all grew up, saying, don't touch that, money's dirty. It's just amazing. But what I want you to do is first step is to identify them. We're going to continue going through these. And when we dive into the wealthy life, really dive into the insight on removing and releasing money blocks and success blocks. But all I want you to do for right now is just identify yours. And then when you have that thought, like you, you know, you right away see something, a nice house and you're like, oh, I bet they're, I bet they are unethical, whatever you may say, it doesn't matter, but just go, wait a minute. I bet that person is really honest. I bet they worked really hard for that. Or I bet that person's really honest and I bet they attracted that. Whatever works for you, say it. The more you can focus in on what you want, the more you're going to get it. So I have one more resource for you. You can go to millionaireseries.com forward slash RFT for our results formula template. This is a great template because it helps you to get results. Most people that are here wanting to simplify their life, they want results. This guide will show you how. So again, millionaireseries.com forward slash RFT. Please remember to click subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified of future episodes. For today's show notes, go to millionaireseries.com forward slash 177. For all show notes, go to millionaireseries.com forward slash WLI. So I want to give you a couple tips to simplify your life. Slow down, just slow down. Going faster does not solve the problem. In fact, I always laugh because I used to speed all the time. In fact, I had so many tickets before I was like 20 and I always got to talk myself out of them, you know, a small town in South Dakota. But I'm like, why am I going so fast? You go really fast and then you get to the stop sign and you're like, right, the person's right next to you or the stoplight. Slow down, just slow down. Slow down physically, slow down mentally. Less is more. We don't need all the stuff. In fact, the stuff does not bring you extra joy. It complicates your life and actually makes your life more miserable. Get into the driver's seat of your business and life and make it a priority. Simplify whatever you can do, the process. There's a new lobster place that's opening up down the way and they only have two items on their menu. They were written up in the newspaper. We drove by there, the line was a mile long. They know what they're really good at, they offer it. They're not overcomplicating it with a hundred choices. There was somebody that said they started a restaurant, a burger restaurant, and they had like 15 choices of bread. They ended up going out of business, but one of the people said it was exhaustive. Like you felt exhausted when you left. You don't want people coming to your place and feeling exhausted. You want them feeling renewed, refreshed, Make it easy. Only say yes when you really mean yes. Stay focused on what your ultimate goal is. An overcomplicated, expensive life or a well-planned, valuable life. We get to choose, my friends. No one else is creating your life. And if you're in the mode of blaming somebody else, go watch The Worth Barometer, and I'll link to that and The Wealth Barometer. We get to choose. We get to decide how we show up and what we do and what kind of life we live, simple or complicated. So choose what you want. It's so much more enjoyable to have a simple life. So I want to thank you so much for joining me for Simplifying Your Life. I'm Annette Bao, host of The Millionaire Insider. All international copyrights are reserved. I'll look so forward to seeing you on our next episode. Bye for now.